Okay, so uh, this is a totally rough recording of me playing Minecraft. This is what I call uh, Advanced Hard Survival 2, and the difficulty on hard and on survival. So, it's really creative for me. Um, I'm wasting time, so. Wow, that is really loud. So we're going to try recording at volume um, 22. I feel like I have to kind of talk over it, so I'm guessing that's probably loud enough for the thing to hear. Uh, whoa, there's slimes outside. Come back inside. Okay, um, I don't have any proper tools, but I do have some diamonds, so I will make a diamond sword sword. This is how you make a diamond sword. Of course, my phone says, Oh, I only got 20% battery left. But that's totally my fault, so I'm not gonna take that to heart. I gotta touch the phone now, so it's gonna be like, probably gonna mess up something. Sorry, people, if you're looking at this, it's gonna shake or something, probably. Alright. So. I think it's pretty. Ouch! I think it's pretty cool that whenever you put a flat lens survival on, you get a, what I call slime apocalypse. Because slimes appear at bedrock level, or in, in and around bedrock level, basically. And they can appear during the day. So basically, putting a flat land means slimes everywhere. Which is fun because typically slimes are extremely rare, so it turns them from a rare creature into like the creature, and they're fun to fight. Once I finish chopping all these slimes, <laughs> we'll actually get to work doing something. Oh my god, I chopped so many slimes off. And of course it's raining, so there's that, to make it sound even harder to hear me. Um, I haven't been here in so long, the chicken in the well, I uh, haven't been here in so long that I don't even know what's here, but when I do a hard survival pretty much, uh, I just enjoy the experience of running around and boosting on everything I see. So I'm going to grab some stuff and this slime here is going to try to bug me. Ah! I got my sword. But it did stop raining, so that's very sad. So, um, yeah, I haven't played this in a while. Like I just said, because redundancy is redundant. I don't exactly know what I was going for here anymore. Wow, that sounds bad. Oh, you know, I think I do know what map this is. Ah! House is haunted! Not that house. Oh, let me show you something here. Obviously, you can see that we're playing with the four. This is what, before we had villagers, this is what I had for villagers. Um, this is a two Roblox, this is a female Roblox, this is a female Roblox. This is her arm. And, and uh, this is like a torch that she's carrying so that you can, she can have light. This is a bed, obviously. Alright, so the cool thing in this world is that I built something called a Nether Titan because I am creative and a bit of a dork. So I do stuff like that, and I would like to find another Titan before I run out of battery power. So that's my quest. Find another Titan before you run out of battery power. Uh, I don't have a map. I do have a map. Okay, I'm going to cheat because I actually know where to go if I can see the map. Haunted house is haunted. Okay, now you see that over there in the top left, that's what another titan is. It's uh, currently destroying a village, so the end game of this is to find another titan, uh, climb him, 
and then blow his head off. Um, so I might actually do a video later where I actually run through this entire adventure in a more proper way. But for now, I just want to show off the other Titan. Use a lot of different influences on the stuff that I do in Minecraft. The whole Nether Titan concept actually, uh, I think Shadow of Colossus probably is what influenced me to kind of build this giant creature. You know, even though I've never actually played that game, I have seen a lot of reviews and videos on it. I think I would really enjoy it, but I just never played it. Nice, so, so, ooh, look at this chest. It's a good chest to buy, right? And as you can see, uh, from my very low experience count, I haven't really done a whole lot in this world. I probably shouldn't waste any time fighting these slimes. I'm just going to avoid them. Whoever's watching didn't know, uh, the fastest way to move in Minecraft is to sprint and hold down the jump button. Yay! I made you smarter. Oh, I passed it. Well, this would be cool because you can see, like, what actually creates another Titan, or what, what damage it's done. So, here's an influence from Oblivion. I kind of like imagine that this thing has come through the nether. Because the nether basically is, is oblivion in Minecraft. It's, it's the same thing. Or hell, or whatever you want to call it. Let's shoot this creeper. Sorry, creeper, nobody likes you. Alright, so this is where it comes through. And all other titans can spit lava or whatever. So it, it just comes through stomping. Stop. Hey! Ow! Screw you, zombie! No! I'm doing a video! You're messing me up! Alright, well, the zombie killed me. So. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to get out there again, especially with all my stuff, and especially not doing exactly what's directly going. Uh, I can. You can watch a video of me punching lots of monsters and then killing me. That'd be kind of cool, right? We're at seven minutes here. I'm getting a little bit of screen flicker. Uh, I'm not sure why. Just, the phone is like getting weird. I don't know. Um, but that's what tests are for. And that's what I need to remember basically. This is mostly for test purposes, not really. You know, I don't know if that's to be anything really super popular. So I'm just gonna go over here and start punching stuff. Hey, you skeleton, you suck. Nobody likes you either. That's right. Oh, you creepers, you want this too? Huh? Huh? Oh! Hey, I blew up again. You think you can stop me by killing me? Never. Killing me won't stop me. I'm a phoenix, you can't kill a phoenix, you just piss him off. Ah! Okay, 